He's got his safety glasses on. So here's Lisa's Baker's Rack project. Yeah, Baker's Rack. Also, slash. It's also, it's actually a wine rack, but I'm not using it that way. But it's going to be a what? A Baker's Rack, which I'm going to use for my work supplies. Where'd you get it? Uh, Goodwill for $12.99. Goodwill and Joliet for $12.99. And it was in perfect shape, just dirty. And it has glass shelves. And right now we're going to use the glass shelves, but we might change that out later for something that looks kind of like faux marble or wood that we stain or something. Not sure yet. And now I'm just scrubbing it with some soap and water. Dawn dish soap <laughs> and water. And and then we'll um and then we'll wait for it to dry and we'll paint it. What did we just do here? So we decided to take off the wine rack holders. Mm -hmm. so At the last more minute. Room underneath there. Yes. So they just came off with two screws. I didn't buy it to be a wine rack. Although we will keep those because they just screwed on with two screws. And we are going to keep those there in case I decide to put a rack. And um, this way, the thing I want to store under here, like my work printer and my work items I can store them under there and now I will still be able to style the top these were the little things that you would put a stem glass in but I don't want those so, so we're gonna cut them off yes yay <laughs> Carl knows how to do everything right I have the vision and you make it happen I have the tools and the technology. <laughs> Next step in refurbishing um, the wine rack is to take off that top shelf, which Carl unscrewed. And um, he just unscrewed it. It was very easy. Here's where the screws were. And he's taking these off. I don't want these on there. So, what are you using? A grinder. A grinder? With a cutoff wheel. A grinder a with a cutoff wheel. Okay. So. Okay, now I'm going to clean up where I cut these off because they're sharp and sticking out with this surface disc on the grinder. Now that we got these cut off, which is gone, uh, with the grinder we're going to smooth it out with a file, just a little bit there, rough on the edges. Okay, so this is our, our um, this is the piece that the little 
wire glass holders were on. That's back. They're all gone and it's all smooth. Yay! And now we're going to put it on the um, baker's back. rack. We're going to put it back. The paint we used is this Rust Oleum Universal Metallic Primer, Paint and Primer in One. And I got what they call flat burnished amber, which means it's flat, but it has this sparkle in it. So the color of the cap is the, actually the color. So the paint's flat, it's not shiny, which it I wanted, it. but it has these metallic particles in yeah, it. It's so great. pretty. It does, and it's smooth. You don't feel it, it's not textured. So I like that too. Drip? Yeah. No drips. There's a couple spots if you want to zoom in that the second coat didn't get, but it, overall it looks really good. Oh, yeah, it's coming out beautiful. Like look how pretty it looks right here. Here's the finished project at its new home in Lisa's <laughs> kitchen and it looks beautiful exactly what I envisioned I knew it had great lines we just had to take off the the glass holders and the wine bottle holders and now it's just what I wanted